Welcome everybody to my really quick and dirty run through with the Boss BD2 Blues Driver. For better sound quality I reckon using headphones. I used to own this pedal like 10-12 years ago and I got rid of it because by the time I was really into amp distortion and that didn't change but nowadays I really enjoy the variety that uh, pedals offer. So uh, I bought this pedal on eBay for 60 euros and um, see what it does. My signal chain is I'm using a Musicman Cutlass 3 single coil version and straight into my Marshall head and the JVM 410 in the clean channel, the green mode. And from there I'm going to my uh, Torpedo Captor X and nothing too fancy going on and I'm um, using a Line 6 M5 in the effects loop of the amp for a little bit of ambience. And uh, here's my clean tone. <laughs> I'm using the second position of the guitar right now. Everything at noon, so I'm reducing the level a little bit. feels like I'm not only reducing the level, but the body as well. As I'm increasing it, I think the tone gets fuller. Yes, it does. Now to the bridge pickup. Let's see what it does when I'm increasing the tone. It adds a lot of chime, chimeliness, if you want to call it that. A little bit too harsh for me with the single coils, so I'm dialing it back. Yes. Neck pickup. Reducing the gain a little bit. As you hear, the bus gets quieter too. I'm not using any kind of noise gate. Increasing the gain to like three. And it starts to compress a bit. Maybe rolling some of the heights back in. So go all the way up with the gain. Feels like a real M to me. But 
that's a bit too much for my ears. That felt like my sweet spot right there and right here. <laughs> That was my quick review of the Blues Driver BD2 by Boss. I hope you liked it. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell.